Whitehead. All right, I'm James and this Connor. Shot and we're playing FIFA Pro Clubs. And what we're going to do is be legends for different teams. A little back heel. And at the moment, we're Ajax, as you can probably tell. I'm Wesley Snyder, and Connor is Marco Van Basten. Marco Van fella. Basten. Lent it and to you. His teammate for a moment. So we'll be other people with us at times, and we'll just be having a laugh about shit. Yes. No, nearly. James, you cunt! Stealing my fucking free kick. I nearly scored. See if you just stopped that, I got a free kick. Let's cut. Let's cut. I nearly gave you a goal there. Say it again. What can? Pass the ball, please. There you go. That was your fault. And I know, I've seen another gap. I've seen a different gap. For some reason, I'm still on a 10 rating. You didn't even get a 10 rating in the last game. I know. I'm just stuck on a 10 rating. I'm Mr. Perfect, that's why. That's a good challenge between the Aye. two of them there. Yeah. Save. FIFA knows I'm brilliant. <laughs> really Aye, that that's one. A good ball, it's bowing it? down to They're my awesomeness. And here's the shot. Many players are two footed, but this player is. Right. And I'm afraid you've just seen an illustration of that. Yeah, it's not something you look back on with much pride that because he should be better with his weaker foot. By the way, I literally don't care like about talking proper. Shots on here. Hit it well. Just too what high. about your shitty accent? Aye, I don't give a fuck. It's alright, mine's straight as well to understand. <laughs> so, what you've been seeing of E3 so far? Schneider. Oh, fucking. Yeah, you, you had to go into E3, didn't you? The <laughs> <laughs> really? What's wrong with E3? We've been watching See, it. See, to be fair, I'm not really buzzing about very many things, but what Battlefield looks like one of the best things on there. Well, this attack I think World War 1 it. will be good. Aye. Uh, then you've got the whole FIFA yes. story mode thing, which looks shit. Oh, well, Marcus Rus uh, Rushford. Oh, Rashford mode. Aye. Uh, I watched a it's video, apparently you're not locked to Man United, you just locked to be in uh, Alex Hunter. What, are you? So you have to be Alex Hunter through the full game? Ah, uh, you have to be Alex Hunter on it, but you can beat any Premier League club. That's pish. It's alright if you're a whole City fan. I know that he's are in the Premier League. I know. <laughs> I'm interested to see because apparently you've got to make it's some telling that. decisions. He's one possession. And that can affect yeah. what you do. One, two. Schneider. But we can oh, catch fuck. up with the details of that injury from So the, if you're in home, Jeff. I'll just go play rugby league instead. Now, I'm not sure he can carry <laughs> Try and change on. the game Jeff. completely. <laughs> <laughs> you're picking up the ball now that and running with it. <laughs> All FC have seen you playing and decide you're better off for them. <laughs> Schneider. Or if rugby 15 is anything to go like, rugby and league is not something, or rugby union is EA should attempt again. That was horrific. <laughs> Barker. Like, that game made me want to cry. Wait. It's because it's a rugby game. <laughs> it's hard to get them right. I don't know. The John Alumu game's done well at the Union and the Rugby League Live's slowly getting better. But I spent 30 quid on Rugby 15. And and I think it was just a complete farce. Yeah, I didn't even get past the first half. you've ever spent. Yeah, I didn't even get past the first half of my first game. I just quit. Oh, how about Matt Stark? I don't know. Because 
you've played a couple rugby games with me, haven't you? He's got to play it back to the no, goalkeeper. No, Aye, but how do you pass on them? Closer. To the side. <laughs> you know what I mean? What buttons can you remember pressing? Straight to the opposition. Uh, the can't the the bumpers at L1, L2 as well. All right. To pass left and right. Mm -hmm. On that game, you use the right Punched stick. By the goalkeeper. The shot's up. Right stick? The yeah, so Corner you again. run with the left stick, but you pass with the right stick. Right. So, obviously, what you're going to do if you want to pass to a side? You're going to end up moving. That side. Ah, you're going to move both sticks. And what you end up doing is you pass it twice and you end up running off the pitch. Because ah, without knowing, you've just held Volks. both sticks to that side. And it's on the way of changing it, like the button layout. Nah, I was looking at ways of trying to change it and it just wasn't anything there and I'm, I was just getting frustrated with it. Plus the camera the angle coach, was side on. Like I mean, that works for FIFA, there, but... Yeah. On a rugby game, a side on camera angle. You're just looking at two lines then. That's their ball. Right. Fuck that. So it was just like the most frustrating game I've ever played. And the biggest waste of £30 I've ever done. And when you're a student, that's a lot of money. I've been very poor at times and I've been able to think about oh, £30. You could, uh, you could, <laughs> you could have been £30 pound richer. I could have had a day or two extra food instead of playing that monstrosity. So 20 minutes? I thought. If that. I think I spent more time shouting at the game being paused at the controller layup and trying to work out how to change it than I did even playing it. And I think, if I remember rightly, the licensing was shit. What was it? I did, they didn't have licenses for most of the leagues and that because Journaluma Rugby had it. So you were playing games with like. You try and get the ball to Manu to a Lange, it would be. I don't know, Monu Tugagi or something. So it was like it's like the old Pez games where I've... Neil Lennon was known as Neil Lemon. <laughs> That's brilliant. It's head colour suits that. Ribbity, it's flank robbery. Ah, it was just like, you're looking at stuff. And you're just looking at a name going, you know who it is, but it just frustrates you. Yeah. New Lemon always stuns it. <laughs> or, the classic, Man Red. Here we go with the start of the Man second. Blue. <laughs> North London, White, North London, Red. After that interception. I mean, the Premier League names for Pez were classic. This could be danger. Players. Passing. And now the shot. Oh. Well, no scraps for the attackers to feed on. Because what is it? They can time. only get some like well. licensing for two Premier League teams or something. Aye, it was fucking stupid. Because Hull City's Yorkshire Orange. That's quick witted play, <laughs> but quick movement as well to avoid the slight tackle. Bet you I like that name. Aye. <laughs> Sheffield was South Yorkshire blue or South Yorkshire red, varying which one it was. Oh, for fuck's sake. We've been oil then. FIFA, what do you expect? I'm not going to get FIFA next year. It's just an absolute joke now. There's just so much wrong with it. See, you say that, but after a couple of weeks, when it goes a bit down in price, you sort of look at it and go, I'm getting it. See, unless it's £30 and no 50 I'm I not getting it. That's what I mean. That That's when I'll get FIFA normally. I'll wait a couple of weeks till it goes down in price, because... To be fair, any game at 50 quid cleanly. is a lot of money. Mendes. Of course it's a lot of money. And especially if it's an FPS, because half of the game's not even there. You're waiting on it in packs to pay 
a ridiculous amount. Get this one gun for two pound. Get this other gun for two pound. Half price at a pound, another gun. Just slowly adding up. That's me, Dexter, man, not in. Stupid, we are full cunt. Love the afros, don't you? Oh my god! BBC oh, News god. just popped up on my computer. Gunmen may be holding hostages in a Walmart in America. So that's two gun troubles in yep. two days? Three oh, days? Yep. What wow. is wrong with that country? Relax gun laws. Wait. Uh, no, I, they, need to, they need to do what they do here. As you said the other day, we deter gun violence in Britain because it's by too giving much hassle. you a shit ton of paperwork. <laughs> maybe like, goes, ah, I said, so much hassle that maybe, maybe goes, ah, fuck it, I want to spend let me spend my days filling in forms for my gun. Because in Britain, it's actually. You can get a gun, but you've got to go through psychiatric tests and other tests before you can get to purchase it. Then you've got to say, register on with the gun. Then you've got to register with your local police so they know what type of gun you've got. There's so much in like, you've got to have a wall mounted safe, the gun needs to be kept in at all times. I th oh, good go. I think it's meant to be like key and combination as well, so it's a double secure lock. And the way is hit now. Out, it's just flown into the top I mean, it's pretty good because like, if you shoot someone in Britain, so, the, you the, they know who you are. Aye, right, because bull every bullet you buy has to get registered with the police. Yeah. So unless you can make your own bullets. Aye. Right? Right. So it's. I mean, we've got it right because no one hey, can be asked with right. it. The Americans are after on that man. I seen a video the day, right? And it was like celebrities and stuff appealing last October to like get rid of guns in America, and obviously it still no happen. And there's potentially an all fucking massacre. Players, but to happen. Ooh. Not my bad, mate. Oh, it's... But another country that's got it right with gun laws is Switzerland. Because, uh, from what I know, it's everyone has mili compulsory military training, whatever it's conscription. Ooh. And everyone gets to keep the Glock. Aye, everyone gets to keep the Glock after it. So, if you try and shoot someone in Switzerland, pretty much everyone else in the street can gun you down properly. Whitehead. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, and I bet you they're all Shots kept on safety, so there's not even a chance of a misfire. Corner. Yeah. I think they should bring national service back to Britain. Really? Aye. I do. Actually, it could install discipline at certain ages. Oh, too too many wee guys that will sit in the house and get absolute butt hot because somebody's Whitehead. called them gay on Facebook or something like that, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, I, I want to commit suicide now, I've, I've got too much, I've got social anxiety. Shut the fuck up and get on with it. Fantastic Everybody else this. has to get on with life. To, go right down to, the wire. to fail, having national service has probably helped with There's discipline because... Uh, yeah, exactly. Because the problem with lots of people at the moment the and it, what an I don't know. Is. It's flown into the bottom right from when you coach kids, it doesn't seem like the parents even Off we go again. do stuff. Wins of kids in this country, absolutely they man. Because you, whenever you Five tell someone off, they act as if it's the first time it's they've ever been told to off, and you're thinking, I know. See, when we were younger, we got a scalp in the bum if we ever done it, right? You can't do that to Wayne's now. Aye, if you hit your own kid, you can just go for abuse. I think I tried to drown my in the bath, and I ended up with a horn print in my bum, and I never done it again, I tell you that. Oh, brilliant.